Are you a channel? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria Bond. I'm a psychic medium and a spiritual empowerment coach. And today I've got some really epic stuff to share with you. So first of all, what is a channel? Are you a channel? Do you have what it takes to be a channel? I'm going to share with you three steps of how to be a great channel and also tell you how to start. So before we get going, if you haven't subscribed yet, I highly recommend you push that button right now. And I want you to be interactive, okay? So as I'm speaking, if something is resonating with you or if you have any questions, pop it in the comments. I always go through and have a look and see who is on my channel here. So what is a channel? A channel is a body, a spirit, a being, all in one, that is able to access different realms, different frequencies, different energies. Now, do you have what it takes to be a channel? Well, this is a really interesting question because everyone has what it takes, but not everybody is allowing themselves to access themselves as a channel. Meaning we're always looking externally to find the answers of how we can channel rather than connecting in to the fact that we are already a channel. So yes, we are always continuously channeling. But what we're channeling is really up to what we're available for. Every single person on this planet has what it takes to be a channel. So a channel can literally access different dimensions, different people's energies, different entities, and literally information from anywhere, including the earth, other planets, people, spirits, you name it. Now, if you want to be able to access these parts, you must come into an energy of oneness, which we're going to tap into very shortly. So a channel is basically an overall umbrella of what is possible. Everyone is a channel. And when I first started hearing this from mentors, like I am a channel, I am channeling, I was a little bit like, well, how do I do that? And then I realized something. When I'm riffing, when I'm in my heart space, when I am being all of me, when I am being my multidimensional self, which we're going to talk about a little bit more, I am being a pure channel of light. There are three steps that you really need to take into consideration when you start channeling. So we've got like everyday channeling, right? where you are literally talking to a friend, giving advice, you're being a channel, you are channeling your higher self, you are channeling from your experiences, you are channeling from the, the DNA, the ancestors, all the wisdom that you have, the innate knowledge and wisdom, but also there's different layers. So if you want to start channeling entities or channeling the multi-galactic reality that is around us, so going deeper than planet Earth, you can do this. But it's not as easy as just going, oh, I'm going to go channel the Lemurian Collective, right? There's a process that I teach in my containers which helps us go deeper inward. Remembering that we are the channel instead of trying to connect to an external channel. I hope this is making sense to you guys. So let's go a little bit deeper. So we've briefly covered what a channel is and we've established that yes you are a channel but there's different layers and depths of consciousness depending on what it is that you're wanting to channel whether it's everyday channeling or going deeper into more galactic or and in more into a spirit kind of zone and channeling different entities. So I want to share with you now the three steps that I think are super important when it comes to being the best channel you possibly can be. So the first one is clearing the space. Now, why is clearing the space? And I want you guys to write this down, okay? And let me know if this is resonating with you in the comments. So clearing the space is super important. Why? Because, you know, we may have a room around us with walls, but spirit and energy, they don't stay out because of walls, right? <laughs> so there's energy always around us. We can take energy home with us from our day out at work. 
we can literally be holding on to an argument that we had like or a disagreement with our partner earlier on the day or the chaos of getting the kids to school, whatever it is, we've got a whole lot of stuff going on in our minds and in our auras and there's a lot of busyness, but usually it's mostly us and our thought processes, which are mini little entities. We've got to clear all that first. If you want to be an incredible channel, you've got to learn, and this is the first thing I teach in my Magnificent Mediumship Certification course, you've got to clear you have to be able to clear the space. There's two ways of doing this. The first thing you do is you clear the space. You clear the mind, right? You come into the space of if there is any energy in the space that's not aligned with my channeling experience, I must dismantle it or I must transmute it or I must just kind of like clear it, push it out so then it can go back to where it came from. So that's the first thing that you do. And of course, in my programs, I go deeper into how to use clearing statements, how to you utilize your energy and all the things. But the second one is clearing entities, okay? So I hope you're taking notes here. You're clearing the space and you're clearing the energy, but you're also clearing the entities. So I go deep into this in about module three of Magnificent Mediumship. Clearing entities is super important because we're energetic beings. We've got this aura around us, right? And quite often... We will get attachments, which is an energy that is attaching to your aura, which is actually quite draining for us. So if you're finding that you have got sleep issues, if you've got patterns going around and around in your head, if you're feeling drained and tired and you don't know why, or maybe you're like even desiring some food that you've never wanted before, you could have an entity attached to you, which could be in the form of spirit or the form of like, it could be like a soul fragment. It could be literally somebody else's like projection onto you. And it's kind of clung onto your aura. So we want to do entity clearings, right? So we can clear not only the space, but we want to clear the aura. We want to clear anywhere that you are being, I want to say like distracted by other energies and entities that are not you. Because you need to be the clearest channel to be a magnificent, incredible, the best channel you can possibly be. You need not only to clear the space, but to clear the entities that you may have picked up. And some of these entities, they may be from what you picked up when you were 16 or that time that you were 23, <laughs> like the time you were at the pub. You know, we can pick up entities everywhere. Again, I've got a whole entire program on this, but I really just want to give you those, those points, those golden nuggets, so you can start your channeling ASAP and go deeper into this if you choose to. So clearing, that's number one. Number two is what I call spirit mode. And spirit mode is, oh my goodness, if you've seen any of my Facebook channels on the Awaken Community with Victoria Bond on Facebook, go check me out on Facebook. Uh, if you've seen them, I will go into a mode and I will literally drop down, my eyes will drop, I literally look like I'm about to go to sleep. And what happens is I go into a mode of like, oh wow, like I feel so comfortable, I'm like floating on a cloud. I feel, you know, that energy like, just before you go to sleep at night and you know when you wake up and you're like oh okay my alarm's gonna go off I'm gonna be getting up soon maybe I'll just like doze a little bit that is exactly what spirit mode is here is the problem with spirit mode most people during the day like are like so on in their lives most people don't allow themselves to go into that state of receiving to be a channel, you must be able and willing to receive. So to go into a spirit mode is to surrender to like the body and the spirit and the soul, right? It's to actually go into a mode, like a meditative mode, where you are like, oh, okay, I am just literally just so relaxed right now. And a lot of people will come to me and they'll be like, why can't I channel? Why isn't this happening? I'm like, it's easy. You're trying too hard. You're trying to control the outcome. You've got expectations of what you're going to see and how you're going to see it, right? And this is literally going to take us to the third one in a minute. 
But I really want you to understand that a spirit mode is like a dance between being awake and being asleep. This morning, someone messaged me and said, oh my gosh, in your awakened community on Facebook, I literally, you know, you did a reading for me and you said that my granddad was coming through and da 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 and you were so correct because that day this happened and this happened and this happened and this happened. I was like, oh, did your granddad come through? Oh, wow, that's so cool. I couldn't really remember. It's like we don't really remember our dreams. You have this faint kind of feeling that you had a dream about something or someone, but you can't quite put your finger on it. And that's what happens when we go into channels. And you will see me in my Awakened community with Victoria Bond on Facebook. I'm going into a spirit mode and going, okay, guys, I'm going into a channel. And quite often I'll start yawning, which is my body regulating, right? So I'll be like, oh, and I'm just regulating down and I'm sinking into my body and I'm being the channel. And when we come into that space, that comfortable space of spirit mode, that is when we start melting to where we are. So we don't feel the edges of us. The control, the to-do list, it dissipates. When we're going to sleep, you know, we have to, we just start surrendering to that relaxation where a busy mind often says, why can't I sleep? You know, and a lot of people who want to do channeling will have this energy of insomnia. Like they're like, I can't sleep. And it's like, you're not surrendering to the channel that you be. Get rid of the to-do list. Allow yourself to come into a spirit mode. I've got a whole chapter on this, a whole module of magnificent mediumship where you can actually practice and you can put some intention and some prayer into space, into the space that you're creating, right? So it's very much about bringing the true white light in and creating your channeling experience to be the most successful session of your life, whether you're doing it for yourself or other people. So this is what I've learned to be true, is to be in a spirit mode is surrender. To be in a spirit mode is relaxation. To be in a spirit mode is expansion. So I hope this is helping. So number three is trusting the channeling process. And number three, trusting the channeling process. You can go through the clearings. You can go through the spirit mode. And a lot of people who work with me in my MM certification, they'll be like, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Why is it happening? And I'm like, because you're afraid. And we're here to slay fear. <laughs> and what can we fear when it comes to us being a channel? What are some of the things that we can fear? Well, the first thing is the fear of judgment, the fear of failure, the fear of success, the fear of having to do it again and not being able to do it the same. We have all been trapped into a system which is very much like achievers. And I don't know about you guys, but at school when I realized I probably wasn't going to be the best reader or the best speller, in fact, school was really, really hard for me extremely hard and I just stopped trying when I was probably around about nine I was like well this reading gig is really hard don't think I'm ever going to be that successful for it so I'm now a not a non-reader right it's just like running is hard for me I'm not made with a runner's body so I'm never going to run I didn't start running until I was like 30 and now I run most days like I love it so you've got to understand you're a channel that means you have to have trust in your process. Now, what I teach in my MM program and, and all of my paid programs basically is we have these processes and we have to bring in trust as one of the biggest processes. So it's the third one when it comes to channeling. But when I go into a channel, I did this uh, yesterday on a live stream in my Facebook community the most insane thing happened. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to say this to one of my clients. Like I was like, I feel like you're an embodied person, but they're telling me for you to embody more, to smell flowers, to co connect in with the elementals. Like I was going deep into this channel and I was yawning and my eyes were, and my ego came in, right? So that's what you need to watch about with the number three that I'm talking about is the ego comes into the process. And you have to go, it's okay, thank you for coming in, but just go to the corner. I'm just going to say what I need to say. And what you're saying in the channeling process is what you're feeling. This is the thing you need to know. 
So listen up. It's really, really important. You have to get used to getting no's. You have to allow yourself to say whatever the hell it is that you want to say, even if it makes no sense to you. I always tell my MM students, 99% of what you say will make absolutely no sense to you. And if you go into it, like I went into it, I had to listen to my own teachings and say, I'm going to like channel for this extremely high vibrational person who is completely embodied within herself. Um, I know she's such a phenomenal being. She's one of my pupils. But what I'm saying makes no sense in my head. But my heart and the guides that I'm channeling, so I can feel the guides coming through of the true white light, and they were, of course, my client's guides coming through and giving me information to share with her because we were in a collaboration and a portal of collaboration, which we've created. I just had to say, I don't know if this is going to make sense to you, but I'm just going to tell you it all. And you can tell me how that feels for you. And she said, that makes perfect sense. I don't need to know how it's going to make sense. I don't need to know why. I don't even need to know what I'm really saying, right? My mind needs to go sit in the corner. My ego needs to go sit in the corner. This isn't about me getting gratification or me getting evidence. This is not about you getting gratification or you getting evidence and validation. This is about you serving from your heart, trusting, having faith, and literally channeling in a way. This is the next thing you need to listen to. In a way that feels good for you so I can feel guides coming through and I can see this person coming through and this person's husband coming through and then I'm seeing things in my head and then I'm feeling things and next minute you know I'm standing there I'm holding hands with one of my clients husbands and it's like the most bizarre thing it's like well it's like what is happening none of this makes sense to be a channel you need to know that none of it's going to make sense to get used to getting no's because maybe it's just not landing for that person yet. Maybe you're, you've got your wires mixed, but don't ever stop channeling or saying what you want to say. I, it always reminds me of this story of a friend, a friend of mine, and I said to her, I just had the best reading. This was like five years ago. And she said, oh, my gosh, can you tap into me? And I was like, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. And I said, let me tap in. And all I could see was Santa standing in front of me. And I was like, oh, my God. So I was like, what does this mean? And I said, I can, did your dad, because her dad had passed, did your dad have like a white beard? And she was like, no. And I was like, okay. Did your dad wear like red pants? She was like, no. Like, okay. Did your dad, um, like, I'm asking these questions. I was like, oh, I don't know, but I, I'm just getting your dad loves you very much. You know, I could feel the feelings. I could see the things. And I said, I'm just going to say this to you, right? So I put my ego aside and I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to say it. And I said, all I can see is Santa. And next minute she starts bawling her eyes and she's like, oh my God. Like her dad had passed for like three years ago. And she said, you know what, like my dad dressed up as Santa every single year and we've been missing him so much and that means the world to me. Of course he would show up as Santa. And the minute I was aware of that, all the Santa clothes came off and this is all in my mind's eye. And there, there, here there he is. He's like, hey, how's it going? And there's this man standing there, this tall man, this good looking man. I was like, was your dad tall? Was he quite good looking? She sent me a photo. I was like, yep, that's what I saw in my imagination. Get used to getting no's because it gonna, it's going to get you to go stronger. And like I say, 99% of what you think or see or what you're bringing up will make no sense to you. So I'm just wanting to know, guys, how is this feeling for you? What is resonating with you? Where are you remembering that you actually already do this? What have you learned? Let me know. Pop in the chat box. I'm so excited. If you've loved this video, then please share it. Share it on your socials, share it on your to your friends, share it wherever it feels good. Share it to someone who you think, oh my goodness, this person's a channel, right? Let me know. I would love to know. 
So how do you get started today? That is my last thing that I want to land on. How do you get started today? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to start practicing. The second thing you need to do is you need to start practicing. The third thing you need to do is you still <laughs> you need to start practicing, but also accountability and support is very beneficial. So please reach out if you want that. I do have some incredible spaces. I have a membership. I have my certification, my MM certification. And of course, I've got my free communities, Awaken Community with Victoria Bond on Facebook. I'd love to see you guys there so you can see readings and channeling in practice. So give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Make sure you follow this account and also comment to let me know how you have enjoyed this training today. And until next time, namaste.